Hey guys, happy 4th. I just finished a run and I am literally about to do my strength session and I figured why not invite you all to it. If you can't watch this recording, if you can't watch it live, then you can watch the recording. And I'm going to run through the full strength workout, but I'm not going to repeat every single exercise, so I'll just tell you how many sets you'll do of each. So all you'll really need, not so much equipment, I'll tell you, if you don't have any equipment, if you're traveling, then what to modify with. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully my phone will last and we're gonna get started. So uh, make sure you get a good warm up and then you can grab a couple of dumbbells or a couple of kettlebells. We got a set of good old creams. You're gonna go for eight reps, okay? Eight reps, if you don't have any weight, you can actually just go through the motion, no weight. But a clean, you start down, and then snap it up, catch it, and stand up. Down, up, catch, snap. And we're gonna go through eight of those. So we'll do that one with you right here. If you don't have any weight, you can grab like a fertilizer bag, a kid, and that's eight. Okay. Cool. And then from there, you're going to go right into a set of rows. And again, you grab yourself a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever you got. And we're going to do one arm rows. You're going to go in a lunge position. Crank it out. We got eight on each side. Let's rock through that. If you have no weight at all, you can just do some traction. So pulling that shoulder blade in and really get that squeeze, and that's just fine. Go for more reps. So instead of eight, go for 20. Okay. So, the last thing you're gonna do, if you don't have a medicine ball, that's no problem at all. You're just going to give you regular push-ups. If you do have a med ball, you can do med ball push-ups. And we got eight on each side for these. A little bit of balance. Again, if you've got no medicine ball, totally cool. Just hit regular push-ups. So we got eight on each. Burning off that barbecue. All right, cool. That's circuit one. You're gonna get through two or three rounds of that. So we get cleans, we get you rows, and we got you good old medicine bowl or regular push ups. Next strength circuit you're gonna hit, you're gonna do a set of squats. Now again, you got no weight, you're doing no weight. Totally cool. You can go eight reps with a pair of dumbbells, a pair of kettlebells, eight reps, sit back on that tushy, fire it up. about eight reps up and down and that's eight cool 
Next exercise in this next strength circuit we're doing. Oh, plyo push-ups, folks. That's good stuff. So if you can't do a plyo push-up, that's all right. You can just do a regular push-up. We got 10 reps. You want to fight it out with me. Let's go for it. Ready? If you can't do that full, you can just go down and then pop up like that. Okay. And then you got a set of bent over alternating rows. We're going eight on each side. So nice flat back on this. And then you're gonna alternate. Boom. Eight on each. If you got no weight, you can go bent over, hands behind your head, pull those elbows up. 20 reps. And that'll definitely get into the upper back muscles. Okay, that's circuit two. Again, two to three rounds of that. Each circuit is three exercises, maybe four. All right, third circuit. We've got overhead tricep extension. So again, grab a dumbbell, grab a kettlebell, grab a kid, grab a soda bottle, grab a beer. <laughs> We're gonna go 10 reps. And you're literally going from straight arm and just lowering back behind you and pushing up. And we get 10 reps. Should be burning. dumbbells, two kettlebells, curling up like this. We got 10 reps. You got no weight. Just focus on the squeeze. How tight can you make those biceps? I'm going to hop over to the TRX and I'm going to get 10 bicep curls right in the TRX. If you got one of these, it's great. If you don't, I would highly recommend investing in one because you know what? It's great to travel with. It goes anywhere and you can do pretty much anything in it. So I'm getting a set of bicep curls. Hopefully you're doing it alongside me. You can do it with dumbbells, kettlebells, no weight, T-Rex, we're all good. 10 reps. Work it out, we got three left here. Two and one. Boom, so we hit triceps, we hit biceps. Next one in the circuit, I've got everything written down here, is a set of core rotations. So you can do this with no weight. You can do it with medicine ball. You do it with a kettlebell. It doesn't really matter. What you want to do is you want to keep your hips locked. So the best way to do that, do it on your knees. And you're just going to rotate side to side. Neck is forward. Hips are forward. The only thing that's moving is the torso. We get eight to each side, 16 all together. Nothing else is moving. More than halfway there. And, whoo, that'll give you a nice little burn in the core. What you don't want to do is start to twist like this, right? You gotta keep those hips forward. Keep the head and neck forward. That's it for that circuit. Two to three rounds on that. We're gonna rock this last round, number four. We've got a combo exercise. It's called the core crusher. We're gonna do a combination of get-ups, in this case, really sit-ups, and then reverse leg lifts, and then grapple or twist. So we're gonna go 10, 10, 20. So grab your mat, get 
right down on the floor. Do this alongside me. Here we go. So the way I do a sit-up is like a big X. Arms are out to your side, feet are out. You're going to use your elbow to help you lift. You're going to go opposite arm to leg. Okay? Ten on each. We're going up. Boom. Boom. Keep breathing. slide the hands lightly underneath the tushy, all right? You're going to start with feet up. You're going to shoot them up to the ceiling. Hips are going to come off the ground. Straight up, and then bring it down to a leg lift. That's one full rep. Stay with me. Last three. Boom. Two, boom, and one more. Whew. All right, now we're gonna come on up. And we got Russian twists, so I'm gonna keep your knees bent. You wanna keep your chest up on knees. The most important thing, you wanna elevate your feet enough, get enough space between you. And we're going side to side. Ready, go. Try to hit the ground. Four, five, keep it up. Rock and roll. 